Well, you guys got another ransomware removal video here for you. These are the uh, ransomwares from Russia, as you can see, and I think they're classed as SMS uh, ransomwares. They're they're basically MBR blockers. They block the MBR or change the MBR, and uh, it makes it very difficult for removing these. Now there is a ton of these out on the internet, and uh, they change the codes on these all the time. Okay, now there's a long list of codes to uh, release this one from it okay but as fast as uh, you post these up they will change and they'll be obsolete so it's pointless me showing you loads of codes okay to use and sometimes they don't work now you can't get into safe mobile networking you can't get into safe mode with command prompt and you can't get into uh, safe mode it just won't allow you okay you still get this uh, ransom that pops up it just won't reboot at all into it so as you can see here we have got um, a ransom which they're asking you to read ring a number and then pay the sum of and that's when they release you from this ransom now I'll show you uh, these normally are like a four digit code that you put in and release you from that okay um, but what we're going to do is try and get into a live CD and show you what happens once you get into a live CD it hides the actual um, drive as well so the drive is not visible so you can't recover your data let me show you what I mean. I'm going to boot up into my live CD and show you that the drive is not visible. Now what I'm going to do here is come down to my live CD. This is my live CD, but you can uh, use any live CD, Hirons or anything like that, or uh, Ultimate Boot CD for Win, and it will still come up with the same thing when you use any of those types of CDs. You won't get a visible drive. Okay, so I'm just going to click Go here. Now I'm not going to fix it with this live CD because I want you to be able to use your own live CDs. I just want to show you that it's not visible. Now there's no point in me fixing it with this, as I said, because if you haven't got this CD, then you it's not going to be much use to you, okay, to fix it. But as you can see, the drive is now not visible on my uh, desktop here. So now we've got this booted up to our desktop, we can see um, that it's not visible on our desktop here. But if I open up my uh, Victoria, we will now see our VirtualBox hard drive. And this is the one we're going to be fixing. Okay, So we need to fix this. We'll quickly reboot our system into a free tool that you can download, which everyone will be able to get access to, and use that tool to fix our problem. So let me boot up to that right now. So here we have our mini tool. It's uh, it's classed as a Partition Wizard boot disk. It's by Minitool. You can download this for free. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to boot into the top version here. Let this load in. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go one version one. That's the one we want to boot into for the size of the screen. So what you see here is our drive. And you can see it says unallocated and we can rebuild the MBR here and we can also uh, do a partition recovery. Okay, so what we want to do is just try a partition recovery. We'll try it on this uh, one here, go next. And uh, what we're going to do is go next and do a quick scan and hopefully it will find that for us and then click on finish and there we have our system back up and running now we can also uh, fix the MBR on here if we wanted to we can rebuild that by clicking on the uh, rebuild MBR but let's try and apply this MBR. Now, once we've completed that, we can now see how drive. We can look inside here, and you can see that we have access to our drive. So, as you can see, we have access to our drive here. And uh, what we're going to do is reboot the system, and uh, hopefully, this will now boot up. I'm going to exit out. So as you can see, we've now got our system booting up.
and there we are back at the desktop so also what I would do is I would run system scans of Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro and stuff like that and also do um, a scan for any viruses that may be on your system okay and that way you can be sure that you've got the system back up and running anyway so I hope this one helps you out guys I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed these videos then hit the like button guys it really does help me out and also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so thanks again thanks for your support Bye for now.